Hey, what's up my friends? Nick Arapkalis here and welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about how to make more money with affiliate marketing by increasing the amount of sales that you generate. Now, before we get started, make sure and hit that subscribe button, that red subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification so you'll be updated each and every time we come up with daily uploads because that's what we're doing here on this channel. We're teaching you how to live the laptop lifestyle by affiliate marketing and info marketing. This is a type of information that has allowed me to go from broke to success, to be able to travel the world, to build out a six-figure business. It's the reason that companies like VaynerMedia are coming to me. It's the reason that you know I've had this massive success and then it's the reason that I've been able to teach this to students and now I've built out a digital agency where we're actually running stuff for people and helping them on that front. So everything is super exciting around here. I wanna share, you some, share with you some valuable information here on this video, but in addition, all the videos here on this channel okay so we talk a lot about affiliate marketing and you know the intrinsics and the techniques that go into it like driving traffic building your list um, but on this video and on upcoming videos I want to change gears slightly I want to talk about something that is really going to exponentially help you and get you much quicker results if you start implementing this stuff and I'm talking more so about conversion rather than traffic getting people to say yes to you more often and if you can get people to say yes to you more often you're gonna build a better list you're gonna build a bigger list you're gonna make more sales and therefore you're going to make more money and therefore you're gonna have a lot more freedom in your life with your with using the affiliate marketing model okay so you probably notice I'm holding a book right here and I talked about this book on a video yesterday I believe that was yesterday um, and this book is called influence by Robert Cialdini and I have started reading the first two chapters again I, again I strongly recommend if you are a marketer of any sort that you 100% just fully digest this and study this and just fully engulf yourself in this book because if you can master the stuff in this book that is going to significantly help you with your conversions and getting people to say yes to you and making sales and all that kind of stuff so I want to talk about a few little principles and again I'm gonna talk a lot more about this book because this is a strong emphasis on my year uh, coming up I'm really focusing on this stuff that is really going to help out and this is like the in invisible influence factors uh, this is all about the science and the persuasion science and the psychology of persuasion and influence okay influencing people obviously doing it in the right way so there's two main things that i want to talk about here in this book on the first couple chapters the first one uh it's a very small piece of this book but it is profound and this is this whole idea of the word because okay and to illustrate this a little bit further, again, obviously recommend that you read this book in its entirety and it will explain all the research and the data behind these type of things. But the word because, the word because is so powerful and it's so influential. And if you can just take one thing from this book is just use the word because more often. So the reason that this came up is that they were doing a study at ASU, Arizona State University, and they there was a line for the copier and they wanted to see if they could influence their way into getting you know cutting the people in line so they first they'd come up to them and say hey can i cut you in line and they get like i don't know like a 30 to 40 percent response rate saying yes you can so obviously not real good but then they change it to something where they said hey can i cut you because i have a ton of copies and i'm in a rush and that that right there just adding the because and and doing something because it, they added it went up to about 90% of people saying, yeah, go ahead and cut me. So they thought maybe it was just because they were giving a solid reason. But next they did the same exact thing, but they gave a bogus reason. They just said, can I cut you because I'm in a hurry? Or there, can I cut you because I want to? Or something like that. And the response rate was still around 90%. So just adding the word because... It's one of the most influential words in the vocabulary, the English vocabulary. So if you can just use because a little bit more, give reasons why, like say, hey, go to my website because I, because I have a free training. Go check out my free training because it's going to help you in affiliate marketing or something like that. You're always given a reason to tell them, to tell people what to do. If you just say, hey, go to my website, they're gonna be like, why do I need you to go to your website? But if you say, because, then they're like, oh, okay, that's why I need to go to your website and it's gonna be much more influential and you're gonna get more people heading to your website or whatever the heck it is that you're trying to get them to do. If you're in affiliate marketing, obviously you're trying to make more sales, okay? So that's the whole idea. That's one of the first chapters I wanna talk about. And then the second chapter, it's all about 
uh, reciprocity, meaning that if you just give enough value to other people, they're going to feel indebted to a point where they're going to have to reciprocate on the value that you provided to them. And to illustrate this, I, that's the reason that I love this book is they have so much data and they have so much research on why this stuff works. They're not just making stuff up. They've done a bun bunch of research on this stuff and there's a reason why this stuff works because it's, it's empirical data. Okay. So there's this whole, uh, this, this whole experiment that they tried to do on, um, forget exactly where it was, but basically they're kind of at like an art gala and they're looking at, at a bunch of different art pieces. And there was a guy who's basically the test subject. And then obviously the person that was in the study, he would come up to him and he came back and said, Hey man, I got you a Coke, a Coca-Cola. And so without, you know, him respect or expecting that by any means, he just said, Hey, here's a Coke. I bought it for you. And it was like, this was back a while ago. And so Cokes were like five cents. So I said, Hey, here's the Coke. There you go. And then the whole, I, the whole reason that they did this was because of the fact that they wanted to see if they could get more ticket sales. So they're doing a raffle ticket later and they wanted to see like, Hey, are you willing to buy some raffle tickets? And that's all they said. They didn't say like, Hey, because I gave you a Coke, like, would you like to do it? Basically they just gave them the Coke and the reason that they gave him the Coke was to see if they could get more sales. And it was significant. Like basically he purchased like hundreds of dollars, not, not always, but like sometimes they purchase up to like hundreds of dollars of raffle tickets simply just because they gave him a five cent, you know, Coke in the beginning. So giving people value up front, they're going to feel indebted to you. And therefore they're going to, you know, spend more money or they're going to say yes to you when you ask for the sale or whatever it is. So if you can just constantly give value and a lot of people talk about this, but I, I wanted to give you the research behind it is that you don't know, give value up front, constantly give value to the marketplace and it's going to come back on you tenfold because of the fact that you are giving value and people are going to feel indebted to you. I think I illustrated this before on one of my YouTube videos. If you haven't seen that, I gave so much value to this one person. Um, he literally just sent me money. I was kind of baffled. I didn't even really expect that. But one of my he's one of my better students now. And I'm really proud of all the progress that he's gone. But he literally, because I was giving him so much value, he felt indebted to me to the point where he literally got out of his phone, got out his phone and went to his Venmo account and literally just sent me money. So that's what you want to do. You want to give out value and eventually that value is going to return on to you. Okay. So those are the two big things that I wanted to cover here on this book. Um, and then we're going to cover much more on the, on subsequent videos here on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe because we're constantly going to be sharing a lot more information about this, but definitely pick this book up because it's going to help you, uh, basically learn how to get said yes to a lot more, whether that is in affiliate marketing, you're trying to make more money or you're trying to do anything else in life. If you can get more yeses, obviously life is going to be a lot more enjoyable. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video. Appreciate your time. If you do want to go check out more information on my, um, on affiliate marketing, all that kind of stuff, how I've been able to do this type of stuff, how my students have been able to do this type of stuff, uh, head on over to mentorwithnick.com where I have my free video training and, uh, that's really it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure and connect with me on all my other social media platforms if you have any questions, you need mentoring, coaching, anything like that. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.